Welcome to another IPA tutorial. This video's topic is on advanced file and folder management. Alright, so let's dive right into it. I'm going to bring up IPA's file manager. Most of you are familiar with this and there is another video that goes over the basics of this and how it works. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the advanced workings of the file manager for IPA. <clears throat> the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up your file explorer in Windows. And once you're in file explorer, you're going to go to your C drive. And in your C drive, you're going to go to users. Then you're going to find public. And then you're going to find IPA subscription. What this is going to do is it's going to show you all of your folders that are in the IPA file manager. So if I were to click here, all of these folders right here are the same as these folders. So if I click on test, for example, you'll see some files come up. Okay. I come over here and I click on test. It's the same files as you see here. Now, in IPA, you can only really move one file at a time by clicking on the file and hitting move and then selecting the folder you want to move it to. If you want to move like an entire uh, folder, what you can do is you can come over here to your IPA subscription and let's just move everything in test over to folder one. So what I'll do is I'll cop, I'll literally cut, right click, cut, come back to IPA subscription, go to folder one and paste those files in. So now when I go to my folder management, I come over to folder one and all my files are in folder one and nothing is in test, which, is, which corresponds with what's going on in the folder here. If you want to share your files with someone else who owns a license of IPA, you can simply copy the folders and I would copy them onto a USB drive or some, some get it on some form of media that somebody can access and then hand it to whoever you're going to give it to. You can even upload it to an FTP and have somebody download it. Just make sure that they download it into the same user's public IPA subscription folder to be able to access it and see it in IPA. You don't have to create folders in the IP file manager. You can actually do it in the subscription folder. So if I click here and I say new folder and I'm going to name this one test two, I can come back to my folder management and you'll see test two is right here. So I've effectively created a new folder without doing it through this interface. So what, whatever you do in here is going to is going to reflect over here. So you can organize this however you want. Just remember that whatever you do here, it's going to be it's going to reflect over here and vice versa. If you want to archive anything, let's say that your 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 file manager is getting too large or whatever, you can simply go into your public folder and create an IPA archive folder and move everything to that archive folder and it won't be shown here. So that that's uh, another technique that we typically use um, when we're using IPA. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at IPA at revivalbrothers.com and you all have a great day and happy investing.